Let's define a relation R which contains a comma b such that a plus b is divisible by 2. This relation R is defined on a set A which contains elements 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on up to 8. We have to find out whether this relation R is an equivalence relation or not. Let's start by finding out what is an equivalence relation. An equivalence relation is the one which is reflexive, symmetric and transitive at the same time. So, let's start by finding out whether the relation R is reflexive or not. Now, if for every element a belonging to set a, a comma a belongs to r, then we can say that the given relation r would be reflexive on set a. Let's take any element, for example, let's take 1 which belongs to set a. Let's find out whether 1 comma 1 belongs to r or not. 1 plus 1 is equal to 2 which is again divisible by 2 and therefore 1 comma 1 belongs to r. Let's take any other element, let's take 2 belonging to set a. Now. 2 plus 2 is equal to 4 which is again divisible by 2 and therefore 2 comma 2 also belongs to R. As a matter of fact, for any element A belonging to set A, A comma A will always belong to R. Why? Because A plus A will always be divisible by 2. Therefore, we can definitely say that the given relation R is reflexive on set A. Now, let's check whether it is symmetric or not. For a relation to be symmetric, if A1 comma A2 belongs to R, then a2 comma a1 should also belong to r for every a1 and a2 belonging to set a. Now, let's take 3 comma 1. If 3 comma 1 belongs to r, why? Because 3 plus 1 is equal to 4 and that is divisible by 2. Let's find out whether 1 comma 3 belongs to r or not. Now, 1 comma 3 is, e is also equal to 4 and therefore it is again divisible by 2 and therefore 1 comma 3 also belongs to r. Hence, we can say that the given relation R is symmetric on set A. Why? Because for every A1 and A2 belonging to set A, if A1 plus A2 is divisible by 2, then A2 plus A1 is also divisible by 2. And therefore, if A1 comma A2 belongs to set R, then A2 comma A1 should also belong to set R. Now, let's find out whether the given relation R is transitive on set A or not. A given relation is said to be transitive if a1 comma a2 belongs to r and a2 comma a3 belongs to r implies that a1 comma a3 also belongs to r for every a1, a2 and a3 belonging to set A. Let's find out whether this is valid for the given relation r or not. Let's take 1 comma 3. Now 1 plus 3 is equal to 4 which is divisible by 2. Therefore 1 comma 3 belongs to r, right? Now let's take 3 comma 5. 3 and 5 also belong to set A. So and 3 plus 5 is equal to 8 which is again divisible by 2. So 3 comma 5 also belongs to set R. Now we want to find out whether 1 comma 5 belongs to set R or not. Let's see. 1 plus 5 is equal to 6 and 6 is divisible by 2. Therefore 1 comma 5 also belongs to set R. Hence the given relation R is transitive on set A. We just proved that the given relation R is reflexive, symmetric and transitive on set A. Therefore, the given relation R is an equivalence relation.